Okay, let's pick right back up here on option number three, the third-party affiliate call. Uh, a lot of people get hung up on this. Uh, this is an advanced way of integrating with iDev Affiliate, uh, but actually even experienced site owners that understand uh, how to integrate URLs with S2 members payment notifications, uh, even experienced site owners get hung up on this because, in my opinion, this is not really made clear here by, by the software. Uh, for example, it looks, appears here that this is all you need. Like you could take this URL and use it as an API notification, which is actually not the case. Uh, okay, so to explain this better, I'm going to take you here. If you go to Setup and Tools in your installation of iDev Affiliate, you go down to Advanced Developer Tools and choose API Scripts. Okay, this will bring you to a list of some of the default scripts that are installed with iDev Affiliate. And you'll choose this one here, Generate a Commission. This is where it actually documents at length this third-party API call that generates a commission. And you'll see there's a list here of the different values that need to be passed in. And most importantly, this is where it is made known that the IP address parameter is a requirement, which in the previous section that we were looking at just a moment ago was not even mentioned. So the IP address has to be passed in to this API call. Okay, so this poses, poses a little bit of a challenge with S2 member because we need to now track the original IP address that the customer used at the time of their original purchase. Okay, so how do we do that? All right, that's what I'm going to walk you through in this video. So the first requirement in order to accomplish the integration I'm going to show you here is that you are going to need the PHP execution plugin. This is a free plugin available at WordPress.org. Go to the Extend tab, choose Plugins, and just type in PHP Execution. Uh, this is a very popular, highly rated plugin. Uh, in fact, I don't have a single installation of WordPress that doesn't use this plugin. That comes in very handy for things like this. Okay. Now, then we're going to, I'm going to switch tabs here. We're going to come over here to our post editor. And in this exercise, I'm going to show you how you're going to put that PHP execution plugin to work. You'll notice in several parts of S2 members documentation, it talks about this, the ability to pipe in additional values into the custom attribute of your shortcode. Okay. What we're looking at here is an S2 member PayPal button shortcode. Okay. Now, in the case of S2 member Pro, you can also use the custom attribute. And it's just the shortcode name changes to Pro PayPal form. But in either case, the custom attribute would always start with your domain name. And now in this example, my domain name is localhost. This is just a localhost installation, as you see here. But in most cases, this would look something like this. Okay, and now in several parts of the documentation for S2 member, you will see that it is possible to pipe in an additional custom value or multiple additional custom values. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to pipe in the customer's IP address using a PHP tag. So I've, I've included the pipe symbol, and then I've included this PHP tag, which says PHP echo the remote address of the customer. So that is giving me the IP address so that it is stored associated with this account so that all future uh, communication to IDEV affiliate can, can include that original IP address that the customer used during their purchase. So that's perfect. That's what we need. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this in a different way. I'm going to take you here to my API notifications panel. Okay. So here under S2 member, I chose API notifications. And then right here, I have selected the payment notifications option from the list. And right down here, you will see where it talks about custom replacement codes and how they can be inserted using these instructions, where your custom attribute would contain your domain name, which is localhost in this example. I'm on the localhost installation, followed by custom values that get piped in and can be referenced using CV1, 2, and 3. So right down here, you see, again, that example where I have domain, the domain localhost with the pipe symbol. And then in this example, it shows how to echo out the IP address of the customer. Okay, And then most importantly, it is showing me that I can then reference that using the CD1. 
as a replacement code. And, and feel free to read through this section here so that you can understand why this is CV1. Okay, see CV0 is actually the domain here, and then you have CV1, which would be the next value that you've piped in, and then you could have 1, 2, and 3, and so on, however many you want to use. Okay, so let's just do a quick review here. You need to install the PHP execution plugin so that you can pipe in the remote address using a PHP tag inside your shortcode. And we're doing that so that we can then reference the IP address using the CV1 replacement code, okay? which ultimately is what we're going to use to send IDEV affiliate the value of the IP address, which it needs. It's a required field. Okay, so let's dive right in now. We're going to go ahead and copy this, this API call, the example here. And I'm going to bring this over to my payment notifications. Under API notifications, I choose payment. Okay, I choose payment here because in the context of an affiliate integration, 90% uh, of the time, payments are really all you need to be concerned with. I just need to make sure that IDEV affiliate is notified every time a payment is received. Okay, so that's why I'm choosing payments the payment notifications. So I just paste my URL in right here. Okay, and you can see that this says payment notification URLs. You can input multiple notification URLs by inserting one per line. And so in this case, I just have one. Okay, now, much like the first segment of the video, here is where I take out these default values for IDEV sale amount and I change them out with the replacement codes here that's made available. Okay, so in this case, here I would use the amount replacement code. Okay, and amount will always be greater than zero because again, this is processing an actual payment. Okay, so in this particular notification, we're actually dealing with a payment. So amount is always going to be greater than zero. And then the order number here should be set to the transaction ID associated with this specific payment that's being processed. Okay, we don't want to use Go ahead and paste that in. We don't want to use subscription ID here because the subscription ID will remain constant throughout all future payments. And what we actually need to do is pass this transaction amount into IDEV Affiliate with a unique transaction ID for this specific payment. Okay, so amount and transaction ID here. And then, of course, the IP address we talked about just a moment ago is going to be referenced with CV1. Okay, so now we have just integrated the third-party API call with IDEV Affiliate for membership level access with S2 member. Okay, now much like in the previous segment of the video where we have two separate notifications or two separate tracking codes, we have the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this in its entirety. We're going to move right down here to the specific post page sale notifications. Okay, and we need to paste this URL right in there as well so that we're covering both forms of functionality. And then I always want to check to make sure that the replacement codes are the same. Anytime you use a different type of notification, you need to look and make sure that these replacement codes are made available by this specific notification. So here I can see the sale amount, the amount, okay, that's the same. I can continue to use amount in this one. Okay, the order number, transaction ID, I can continue to use transaction ID. Okay, and of course the, the IP address is always going to be passed in through that custom attribute, so that remains the same as well. Okay, so those are the same. No changes required in this case. So I can collapse that, and then I just click Save Changes, and I'm all done. Okay, and now you have just integrated S2 member with the advanced way, uh, that, uh, the advanced method provided by IDEV Affiliate through that API call. Now, there's one other important thing to remember. You don't want to... to implement both forms of integration. In other words, here where you're using the third-party call, I've got payment notifications and specific post-page sale notifications. In the case where you're using that third-party call, you want to go back in and make sure that you're not using the image, the hidden image tag under API tracking. Okay, because what will happen then? What will happen is that the tracking integration will be processed, and then the API call notification will be processed, and so every affiliate will get paid twice because you actually have integrated both forms 
you've integrated a hidden image tag and you've integrated the API call as well. You don't want to do that. So here in this example, I've emptied them both out. I don't want to do both, just one or the other. Okay, so just to review that, when I go to cart integration, okay, I enable the generic tracking pixel. I choose view integration instructions. I use the hidden image tag or the API affiliate call, but not both. Okay.